I'm doing pretty well too. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I'm, I'm convinced. My brain is is tricking me into into doing uh, things that seem nice at the time, but will ultimately fuck me over. Um, I went to my bank the other day to deposit a check, and uh, I, uh, I was I was entering the door and I, and I opened it out to the street. And, and I saw this guy, he was just, you know, walking really close to the building, and normally when I see that, I normally see that person go into the next store that they're walking close to, because that's what normal fucking people do. <laughs> so I figured, oh, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this door open for this guy, and I'm gonna make his day a, lot, a little bit, you know, nicer, and maybe he'll pass it along and BAM! Oh shit. <laughs> He apparently was paying a little bit too much uh, attention to his phone and didn't realize that I had opened the door for him, so he ran directly into it and fell on the ground. So I just figured that's not my day, so I'm gonna just walk away from this. Uh, I still have a check to deposit. I feel like he's just waiting for me out there now, so I'm just not gonna go ever again. Uh, <laughs> I, I just can't, I can't trust my brain on anything. Like, it'll make me just say the worst, the worst things imaginable in a certain situation. Uh, like last night, uh, I was coming home and uh, I had my keys out and I was at the door and I was ready to just open it. And then I hear footsteps behind me. And of course, you know, I live in Northwest Philly, so I, I, I tense up a little bit. I'm like, oh, all right, this, this is happening. This is how we're gonna do this. Okay, great. Uh, but then I turn around and I see this tall, tall white guy with, with headphones on, and he just goes, Hi, I'm Eric. I live downstairs. And I go, great, I'm in the third floor. Thank God you're not going to kill me. Uh, which, thankfully, he didn't hear. But anyway, uh, so we both go inside, and he starts talking. I'm like, oh my God, so you guys just moved in. That's great. That's, that's, that's amazing. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's fun, and you know, we're really liking the place. And I'm like, yeah, sorry if I'm a little bit too loud. I yell at myself a lot. Um, <laughs> and he let that one go, which was very nice of him. Uh, <laughs> And then he finally said, yeah, sorry, I, I kind of snuck up on you there. I didn't want to freak you out. I'm glad nothing bad happened. I'm like, yeah, it's nothing. I, it's totally okay. And if I had ended the conversation there, we would have had an okay night. But I, something in my brain just decided to let me continue the sentence and say, I probably would have just stabbed you. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Who says that to someone they just met? I probably will just stab you. No, that's, that's, that's got to get him thinking, wait, there's that older guy that lives upstairs, and he's probably going to come murder me in my sleep tonight. That's not a comfortable feeling when you just moved into a place. But thankfully, he still had his headphones in. So he finally removed one and said, I'm sorry, what? And I think, oh, thank God, I made it out of this without him hearing that, making him think that I'm going to kill him in my sleep, or in his sleep. And then I go, yeah. I'm just lucky I didn't stab you. To which he responds, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and walks to his door, which I feel is a very valid response. So yes, that's why I can't trust my brain at all. And uh, thank you very much for listening to me. You guys are great.